Hi guys, welcome to another video in the Beginner's Mediumship series. I'm Medium Michael Mayo, and today we're going to be answering a very common question that I get. Mediumship, is it a skill that you have to learn, or are you born with it? Stay tuned to find out. I can't tell you how many times people come to me and they ask me, you know, uh, they just assume that what I have, I've had since I was a child. And I think that in some ways, rightfully so, because I have heard, and when you read in the history books about mediumship from the past, you're often going to read someone telling a very long story about their miraculous experiences that they had as a child. Heads floating in closets, uh, visions of other worlds, um, people knowing and seeing grandparents who have passed that they never met or knew. It's oftentimes asked, you know, was I born with this? Is this a, something that I can develop? And then also, you know, in my development circles and things like that, people often doubt and or question whether this is something that they can do because they feel that, you know, oh, well, you either have it or you don't. In my experience, I think the very best description uh, of what uh, mediumship, whether it's something you're born with or something you develop, came from a medium from the past called Gladys Osborne Leonard. And when she was asked this very same question, uh, whether someone was born with this or is this something that was developed, she said that mediumship exists in varying levels beneath the surface. So some people are going to have mediumship and their intuitive awareness very close to the surface. So it's very easy for them to quickly begin to develop work with that mediumistic awareness. Um, there's going to be other people who it's going to be a little bit deeper in and there's a lot more layers that we have to work through before that starts to come to the surface. Um, you can liken this to, you know, everyone can learn to play the piano, but not everyone's going to be a concert pianist. So it's just going to be a varying level of what you're capable of. This question is something that uh, I think a lot about, particularly in my own journey, uh, I often tell the story of how, for me, I wasn't even aware of my mediumistic awareness uh, until a medium one day told me, you're a medium, you need to start developing, and one day you'll be doing what I'm doing. And being the 18-year-old kid that I was at the time, my mind was blown. I had no idea because I hadn't really had any experiences that I would have said um, or I could point to and be like, that's a mediumistic experience. Now, as I've grown in my understanding of how all of this works, I can now look back and say, okay, maybe there was something that was hinting at the possibility of that. But regardless, I didn't have those magical experiences that are often referenced in a lot of mediums um, early life. So what do you do if you find that you have some sort of awareness? Or what do you do if you're really interested in this and you wanna know if you have this sort of awareness? Well. One of the biggest things I'm going to suggest to you is to try. Because for me, I had no idea that I had this ability. Someone said you could, and so I went to a development circle, and in that circle, on my very first message, on my very first reading, it was all their names, you know, information, relationship, personality, everything. It was like one of those perfect, you know, messages we hope we get to give all the time. Now, this often happens in, in the development of a medium and then we get what's called like they dangle the carrot and then now you have to do the work. So because of my experience, I knew that that guy was right when he told me I was a medium, but now I had to work at it. Now I had to start developing it. So regardless of whether you were born with it or whether it's something that you would like to develop, it's super important for you to develop. And that means working with a developed medium, working under the guidance of someone who actually has an understanding for several years. You don't want to be going and learning from someone who's just barely learning themselves. You want to learn with someone who they have been doing this for at least 10 years. You know, you want someone that really has a deep understanding of their mediumistic awareness. So a very common misconception is that if you have some sort of mediumistic or psychic awareness, that you must then go become a fully fledged working medium. Now, if that is something that is sort of on your heart and you feel called to do that, then absolutely. But I really believe that your spiritual awareness and your spiritual connection is actually really a birthright for you. 
you are spirit. You are that having this human experience. And therefore, it's very natural for us to have these other states of awareness, these other states of understanding. And so it's super important for us as an individual soul to develop our awareness of our spiritual self. So ultimately, you know, if you are developing this sort of awareness, it's not necessarily something that you have to do as a career, as a job. It can just be something that you develop for yourself. And also, I believe that when we develop our ability to connect with that sense that is greater than ourselves, that part within us that is our divine spirit, our divine nature, that in reality, what we can do is actually channel that sort of inspiration from the other side in many different ways. So for some people, that might become... Uh, the sense of awareness when we are creating art or we are doing some sort of creative writing or we're doing, you know, working in some sort of sport. We get into that zone and that flow and that power. And so I really don't believe that, you know, just because you have this sort of gift or this awareness, it's something you have to necessarily use. Now, if that's something you want to do, go for it. Um, explore that, develop that, become the best that you can be at that. Um, but don't feel that that is necessarily what you have to do. So the most important thing for us to remember, and if there's anything you take from this video, it's to really know and trust that the spirit is the thing that's going to guide you through what is right for you, what is right in your development process, and just letting them be the one that is taking you down this road, following the open doors, and, and really just trusting what unfolds from walking this path. It's not for everyone, but if it is for you, this is definitely something to explore, deepen, and understand. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you learned something new today or you liked it, be sure to hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell. If you wanna connect with me more, make sure to check out all my links below. Thank you and see you in the next video.